welcome to my channel. Uh, today I just have a video for you where I share my winter essentials with you. Today is the first sunny day in probably like a week and you know, you know it's been a minute since you've seen the sun because once it does uh, sh reveal itself again, you're kind of just like, whoa, <laughs> like, whoa, is this what it feels like to be happy? Is is this happiness? Is this, is this serenity? You're kind of going into hermit crab mode. There's not too much you can do outside particularly. And also it's just the time of year to kind of go inward and... Be with yourself, check in with yourself, see what's going on in there. You know, it's just a more quiet, introverted time. These are just some essentials that I have to like uh, keep me going in the winter and this time of year, as well as just like some fashion staples and also just things that make me feel better and help me during this time, this period. Because like I said, it can be a little bit tumultuous sometimes in case you're struggling with the winter seasons and it's just hard for you to get past that seasonal depression and sadness and melancholy well I'm with you on that uh yeah it's some fashion staples that I have for the winter season is absolutely like turtlenecks and you know sweaters and layering pieces that is the most essential part of my wardrobe in this time of year because layering is going to be your best friend. Turtlenecks are great for the winter time, great layering pieces and just kind of uh, nice to have. So here I have this blue one and um, it's just got nice sleeves, it's good quality. I like the print on it too. I thought it was nice and I really enjoy this color. And it's just a really solid, like, sturdy turtleneck. And you can layer this with jackets on top, sweaters on top, vests on top. Vests are amazing uh, for the wintertime. But I got this literally for $2 at a thrift shop. So go check out your thrift shops because I guarantee you they probably have a lot of turtleneck. And another one that I got at the same place is this really beautiful green colored one. And I just love this olive color, olive colored green. And it's a great piece as well. It's not as thick of a material, but it's still really nice. This is, I believe, Christopher and Banks, which I do, I do know that brand. And it's just a really nice quality. It's got the ribbing, the ribbing up here on the turtleneck, which is always nice. We also have the hoodies, like this one that I'm wearing here. I purchased this one actually at an antique shop. It's kind of, ooh. I forgot that my space heater was on. Um, actually an antique shop, but I got this for $5. $5, y'all. And it's this amazing Velcro hoodie in this awesome print and color story. Are you joking? This is me in a hoodie. So here's another hoodie. I've actually shown this in another video. But it's the same vibe, you know what I mean? Same vibe. And this one's a little bit thinner. Also got this one for $3 at the same thrift shop for with the turtlenecks that I just showed you. And it's in this awesome green color. It's even got this nice little pocket on the sleeve. And this one's actually a bit cropped. It hits like just at my waist, which is perfect. And yeah, this is so awesome to layer with. You can layer this with graphic tees on top. Layer this on, layer like oversized graphic tee on top of this. Um, you could put turtlenecks underneath here. You could layer, because it's small enough, you could layer another thicker, you know, more oversized sweater on top of this or shirt. Like, endless amount of options there. But it's this Ralph Lauren turtleneck sweater in this beautiful blue color. And it's just so perfect because you can just layer endless amounts of layering with this. And it also just keeps you super warm which is perfect. And this I picked up at Savers a few years ago. I don't remember the price now, but I guarantee you it was less than $10. Now I'm going to show you some of the coats, my essential winter coats that I have. I think it's nice to have different styles of coats for the winter. <clears throat> Depending on what you're wearing, sometimes the coat gives off a different vibe 
then the outfit that you put together and different coats kind of have different styles and I actually think it's super fun to go thrifting for some different kinds of coats because honestly like that's what you're going to be wearing the most in the winter time. These are like my three essential jackets and coats that I wear for the winter. Coat. It's a coat. And it's a super nice wool fabric and it's got this amazing lining on the inside. It was actually like custom tailored and apparently it was custom tailored in Hong Kong which is pretty cool. But I picked up this jacket at Savers literally four years ago, four or five years ago. Like look, I feel like it hits me at my sleeves like so perfectly and it's just literally so amazing. Like I, I love this jacket. It's so nice, so well made and I love wearing this when I'm going out or like for a date or you know a little bit of a nicer occasion. This jacket is perfect throw on for you know a bit of a fancier fancier outfit, a fancier look. So this jacket is this huge puffer coat in this brown color that I think is so great. It's um, ankle length so it goes all the way down, it covers every part of your body and it's super puffy. It's a little bit oversized. I think this was actually from my family, like one of my dad's aunts or something. This is it. Isn't it great? I feel like the Michelin name, but like the best way possible. And I love the color of it. The hood is great. Yay! Got big pockets on the side. And yeah, this is just the perfect jacket to have in this weather here. And yeah, this is just like a perfect cropped puffer jacket. I was wanting one of these for the longest time and I think it's in such a pretty color and I just love the amount of puffy it has. It's got this nice little tag here. It's like a half zip and yeah I just think this is great so for any of my outfits that are I'm wearing some cropped pieces. This is the jacket that I go for to throw on. Scarves are absolutely necessary. Um, they're just perfect for layering. They keep you warm. They add a fun print, color, pattern, whatever to your outfit. This one I've already shown in a previous video, but I just love the color pattern on this one. You know, simple like this. You just add this to any outfit and it just kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. This other one, this one's a little bit thinner, but still great. And it's in this beautiful floral print. Wrap it around like this. You don't even have to like, you know, wrap it around your neck if you don't want to. You could keep it like this. Like, definitely a heavy duty winter scarf. I just really like the colors on this one. They're just so fun and nice. So this one definitely keeps me very toasty, very warm. I love putting this one over my winter jackets because they keep me so warm and also are a fun pop of color. I also always have two or three pairs of tights for winter because I am that person that wears skirts and dresses in the winter time. I always have a pair of like fleece line tights like this that are super thick. They're like practically leggings, but they will keep your legs super warm if you still want to wear skirts. And I also have a pair of these like white knit cable knit, white knit cable knit. So we have this cable knit. These are also super great because it's a nice cream color. So, you know, if I don't want to wear black tights, I also have these. One of the accessories that I love are earmuffs because sometimes, I don't know, I just don't want to ruin my hair if I'm having a really good hair day. Like, these are perfect because, well, first of all, first of all, these are huge earmuffs. What am I, what am I hiding under here? I don't like the hat. I don't like the hats that I have for my outfit. Then definitely get yourself a pair of earmuffs. I just think they're so nice. Some more health, mind, and body essentials that I have for myself during the winter time. So one thing that I do to combat that is I take a multivitamin in the form of a gummy, of course. Why would I take it in any other form? And it has all the essentials in there, all the good vitamins. Um, and this kind of covers everything. 
highly recommend just getting a multivitamin and also checking out vitamin D because it's just really good for you in the winter months. And then another thing that I'll take during the winter months is zinc. Zinc is super amazing for your immune system and because it's the winter, because it's so cold and people are getting sick, it's just good to take care of yourself and your, make sure your immune system is just rock solid. Now I have a lot of tea because I love it. So these are some of my favorite tea brands. This one is amazing. It's just pure ginger root in a tea bag. And this is amazing, by the way, if you're feeling nauseous or upset stomach, anything like that. Ginger is so great to consume. So I highly recommend having some ginger tea around. This is one of my all-time favorite, all-time favorites. It's the Sleepy Time Tea from the brand Celestial Seasonings. This is like one of the OG brands for me. They have so many different kinds. It just really does make me sleepy and ready for bed. I think that's probably because that has chamomile. Yeah, it's got chamomile in it. This is another great one. I also love this brand. This is the Yogi Tea brand, and this is their Honey Lavender Stress Relief one. They have a lot of great different kinds of teas for different things, like they have detox teas, um, stress relief teas is also one of my all-time favorites. It is the throat coat, which I'm sure you've probably heard of, but it's um, just such a good tasting tea. I don't know what they're doing, but I love the flavor of this one, and it always really does help soothe my throat if specifically my throat is dry or feeling, you know, a little spicy, a little tingly in there. Now I'm going to move over to skincare just for a second. First off, I have absolutely some face and body lotion so this is one body lotion that I use I use a few but this is the one that I'm just currently using I feel like in terms of moisturizer and stuff like that the less ingredients the better and it also depends on the ingredients that they're using but I tend to stray from fragrant lotion and so yeah definitely recommend always 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 make sure you're moisturizing so much in the winter time because your skin's just going to be drier because you're in a colder climate continuing with that in terms of my face moisturizer this is the one that i've been using non-stop it's the CeraVe night cream and i got actually recommended this by um, a youtuber that i watch hiram he is the skincare god in my opinion everything he's ever suggested has never done me dirty always worked super well for me but it comes with a lot and it's a super heavy cream so you don't need very much and I just love how thick it is and moisturizing and when I put it on at night I just know that my skin is getting so much moisture it doesn't cause me to break out like it's just a very nice simple heavy duty face moisturizer to have at night I'm always using so many face masks in the winter time so I'm sure we've all heard of the K-Bella face mask. Um, I've been using these since the beginning of time. So this is their relaxing lavender mud mask. I love their lavender mud masks. They just smell so good. And then this is one that I've just kind of been put on to, but I've been obsessed with them. And that's these face masks. And I just love the ingredients of them. This one is probably my favorite, the rice one. It just feels so good on my skin. And these are sheet masks, by the way. The last thing that I'll mention are lip balms. I actually got like seven of these for Christmas. I will say though that if your lips are really that chapped or severe that like no matter what lip balm you use, it's not going to save your lips. Like if, if they're that chapped and nothing is fixing it, then that's just sh showing you that you're dehydrated. And that you need to get some water and some hydration inside you because no amount of lip balm is going to save you from that reality unfortunately trust me i know having lip balms around me everywhere is super nice because i'm always losing them and keeping them in different pockets and then refining them when i'm where i wear that pair of pants again or that coat again so so next i'm going to talk about just some things that I like to do for my peace of mind. One of the things that just feels so good, particularly during the winter, is reading books. Yes. Just having some books around that you're excited about or that you enjoy reading or is just a good read for you is so important, I think. 
and it's just very comforting and I've really been trying to get back into reading books because I just got away from it for so long and I also didn't really know what was my genre what I really enjoyed yet because I hadn't made that transition yet from like young adult novels to oh I'm an adult and like I still like those young adult novels but they also don't feel the same anymore because I'm not in that mindset anymore so I was really struggling with finding the types of books that I liked to read these are just a few of the ones that I've read and really enjoyed or am currently reading so the first one I have is Braining Sweetgrass and this is one that I read when I was traveling a year ago and it is probably one of my all-time favorite books that I've ever read. This book is about, um, like even on the cover it says indigenous wisdom, scientific knowledge, and the teachings of plants and I just think it's amazing how she blends the two and she also is just very comforting in the way that she writes and also is very optimistic which helps in a very kind of pessimistic world where that, that we're in right now. I was super intrigued by it because it's essentially about introverts living in a world kind of centered around extroverts and it's just really fascinating to me learning about all the different ways that it's been used throughout history kind of how we've adjusted to this extroverted society and it's just really fascinating and me myself being an introvert like it's also very validating and it just feels really nice kind of feels like I'm understanding myself and my brain a little bit more and just who I am and yeah it's um a great book so far and it's it's called quiet the power of introverts in a world that can't stop talking that I haven't read yet but I'm planning on reading too it's just kind of daunting because of how thick it is is this book called almanac of the dead and this is one that actually my little brother uh, recommended to me um, it's it's definitely a philosophical book from what he's told me so far and it's a very very heavy book which is kind of my jam um, I just read a little life and I don't want to talk about it another thing that is very essential along the lines of that is having my journal handy literally wherever I go this thing follows I write absolutely everything in here like I write to do's, I, I just journal through here, I write out my videos, I write out like ideas that I have because I'm like spending more time kind of inward and just reflecting, I have myself have, I, I find myself having more thoughts and it's just so helpful to write them out and have a journal to just kind of figure out what's going on with yourself and get down to the bottom of it. Okay, very quickly, I also forgot to mention my humidifier. This is absolutely necessary in the winter time. I don't know what I would do without it. Okay, that's it for this video. My camera is going to die I, probably any second. I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you next time.